Hey there, so a quick intro to these videos, I am going to be doing every quest, side quest, character quest as I come across them, try to conquer every bit of content in another Eden on a completely free to play account. So this is my first YouTube series, so bear with me uh, while I kind of iron out the details, but until then, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Alright, welcome back. We are on to the side quest, Issues with the Fortune Teller. A man calling himself a fortune teller has appeared in Palsiful Palace. Palsiful Palace. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say. Something seems off about him. You really are THE fortune teller? May I shake your hand? Who needs oracles anymore? Fortune tellers rule the roost now. A lot of commotion over here. What's going on? Yes, my friends, I am the fortune teller you've all longed to meet. I see the future plain as day. I see where our paths will lead. Lend me your ears and I, I lift the veil and divulge all right here, right now. The fortune teller. I feel a vision coming. A mighty blast will come from behind that very door. In three, two. Why is two and one capitalized, but three isn't? Why is that bothering me so much right now? In three, two, one. I'm convinced. Good grief. What in the... An explosion, just like he said. That came from the magic classroom. I'd hardly call it a mighty blast. This has got to be some kind of trick. Hmm. Behold, my prognostications always come to pass. Listen well, my friends. I have a message from the beyond. I see it. A great disaster approaching our beloved palace. There will be much weeping and gnashing of teeth. But worry not, my friends. Salvation is nigh. My second sight will show us the way. All I ask is a humble monetary offering in return. Surely you can trust me. You can't put a price on peace of mind. By the elementals, this sounds like a tragedy. Just because he said it was a tragedy? That might be why it sounds like that. I'm no tragedyologist, but... How much? How much must we pay to avert this disaster? Sounds pretty shady to me. This guy's more than a... This guy's more like a con man than a real fortune teller. That explosion was a little too convenient. I better look into this. Quest accepted. Alright, let's do it. Alright everyone, today we're going to learn how to protect ourselves from monsters. It's time to practice some offensive magic. Ready? Yeah! The most important point here is managing your magic output, like we learned last week. Watch me now. Boom. Ooh. All right, now you give it a try. Right. Whew, there's a lot of magic flying around when there are people there. Very good. Marietta, you need to twist your wrist a little more. Abigail, you're twisting a little too much. Make your movements a little more restrained. Good, good. Keep it up, everyone. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. I don't want to start a quest. I want to continue this one. Hey kids, do you know who cast that spell and ran away just now? It was him. I saw him do it. He, yeah, well, what about it? It was an accident. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I saw you looking outside when you cast it. 
What's going on here? Did that phony fortune teller put you up to this? I don't know nothing. He paid me to keep quiet, so you're not getting anything out of me. Whoops. How much did he pay? I haven't gotten it yet, but... Oh, heck. I wasn't supposed to mention any of this. What were you planning on buying with this money, anyhow? Probably pies. That's what I would buy. Just pies. Left and right. I mean, I can buy pies now and I don't, so maybe that's not true. Maybe I wouldn't buy as many pies as I think I would. I guess the cat's out of the bag now. I've wanted offcuts for monsters on the Karuri High Road. I need them for spells. But everyone says it's too dangerous for kids to go get them alone. They're right. I can't blame you for wanting to buy your components instead. What kind of monster? A Zen. I need Zen Tail Feathers. Tail Feathers from a Zen, huh? Thanks for being honest with me. Maybe I'll go hunt some monsters. Alright, well, I suppose we're going to find some Zen. is the exit uh, there we go. oh nope that's that guy okay we don't want to mess with him I accept your challenge. oh yeah now you're gonna throw koalas at me huh people almost saying like koalas people throwing koalas at me that's the last thing I need. Freaking koalas to the face. Well. Ba -ba Alright. These guys I'm good at. Me. Like, whoa, girl. Alright. So is this the high road I need to be at now? Yep. Alright. So we need to kill. Well, we need to get three Zen tail feathers. What are Zens? You are not Zen. It tends. Yeah, let's look for sparklies and stuff over here. No reason to just stay in one area. We can go sparkly hunting. I like sparklies. There is some zen. Alright, I got one. these chests respawn because I've definitely been running back and forth um, grinding in this place like half AFK grinding when I'm just sitting around and it surprises me that I have not opened up that chest but I didn't get one off of that stupid Zen this one better drop one it didn't drop one either it dropped something else what the crap big jerk faces I don't want something else. I want my freaking feather. I see that one didn't respawn. Maybe that one, I think there was a little dude that ran out of that one, right? Maybe because it was an actual thing and not just like a chest laying around. Do not get fussy. Still learning. Oh, see, yeah, there's a hundred of those things. So I've just been running back and forth here and fighting whatever comes. Can neither of them drop the tail feather either? Good work, 
everyone. Come on, like freaking six or seven of those things, and I've got two tail feathers. Alright, Zen, come on, where are you? I need your tail feathers. Let's go up and see if there are any sparklies up here. Sparklies! Alright. Stop messing with me. Give me them. Give me them feathers. Are we kidding right now? Good work, everyone. I'm not going crazy, am I? Did I already get all three of them? If the next one I fight doesn't drop, then I'm going to check the quest. There it is. Holy butts, finally. Of course, they're both going to drop one now. I only needed one. Right? Is that good? Yep, three tail feathers. Alright, to Palsifal. Palsifal Palace. Got it. I had to slow it down a ridiculous amount, but I got it. Alright. Here you go, kid. Hello again, Squire. What's up? You remember that material you said you wanted? Well, look what I have here. No way. Wow, it's the real thing, all right. You got so many of them. These are even better quality than the ones in the marketplace. If I give you these, will you do a little something for me? I can have them? Sure, I'll do anything you... Wait, what about my deal with the fortune teller? That guy's not a real fortune teller. He's a bad man trying to trick people out of their money. Do you want people to think you're like him? No way! What a rotten snake! Are you going to bring him to justice? Of course, but I'm going to need your help. Ready to put your magic to good use? What are we about to do here? Just a few more git, my friends, and I will reveal how to, to, to avoid disaster and ruin. Hold it. Don't be fooled, everybody. This guy is a through and through faker. <laughs> how dare you? Eh? A fake, did he say? That's ridiculous. We've already seen his predictions come true. Don't be swayed by the words of this unbeliever, my friends. Trust what you've witnessed with your own eyes. Your faith must be unshakable. You won't get through the approaching cataclysm without my aid. Oh, really? How about this? Predict what's going to happen when I finish counting down. Oh, whoo, Aldo. This is sacrilege. You dare to make a mockery of the occult arts. I won't stand for it. Three. Two. A ridiculous bluff. Nothing will happen at the end of your puerile countdown. One. Zero. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What's wrong? Couldn't even predict a little explosion right next to you? Still think I'm making a mockery of your art? How, how did you... Arg. Arg! I love when people say arg in games. I love saying it. I'm gonna start saying arg, like, out loud in life. You traitorous little brat. You can forget about getting paid. I hate working with children. They're so unreliable. Oh, come at me, old dude. What did he say? Traitor? Working with... How could he not see the explosion coming? 
Maybe he really is a faker. My friends, please listen. Everything he said has been a web of lies. All his predictions were set up in advance. N nay, my friends, I always speak the truth, always, with the elementals as my witness. Hmm. Hmm. You're not buying it, are you? Give us back our money. Someone summon a constable. This man is a con artist. No, I never saw this coming. <laughs> All right. We did it. Yep, he won't be scamming people anymore. Try not to get involved with shady people like that again. I won't. I'll use my magic responsibly from now on. Promise. Quest complete. And that was the quest issues with the fortune teller. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the grinding, all the little, uh, like the boards and all that little uh, maintenance kind of stuff I do on the characters, uh, I, w I do stream on Twitch. So uh, you can check that out. The same username, Corndog913. Other than that, I will be back soon with the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.